Hi everybody, I am Ir Prasad. Now we are going to discuss cash coherence. This question was asked in 2021 March as explain about cash coherence problem. So before that we will see what is cash coherence and what is cash coherence problem with the diagrams. Right? This is the topic from the cursor I will explain. 5th unit, 3rd chapter. In 5th unit we have 3 chapters. Right? First chapter is RIC and CAC and uh, second chapter is pipelining and vector processing and third last chapter is multiprocessors multiprocessor means many processors many multi means many processors p1 p2 p3 see so far we have seen with single processors nothing but uni processors generally multiprocessor means memory unit will be stayed with processor 1 and processor 2 processor 3 processor 4 and input output devices right and input output devices mouse keyboard and all so like this system will be there this video also i have covered just for your understanding purpose i have drawn here multiprocessor see the chapter name many processors if you want to increase the speed of the computer task workstation big big google companies they will use this multiprocessors to do increase the speed of the computer right so cache coherence cache means memory unit small memory unit that is a part of a processor to increase the speed of the computer cache memory will be used so fifth unit last chapter is also cache memory there it is a uni processor memory unit accessing same data from processor so processor have cache cache you can pronounce it as cache or cache a cache memory inside it i will make it into make into other color so if the processor having cache memory inside processor when you are accessing same data again and again some to x, x data right that will be copied here next time when you are accessing same data it will take from here so the speed uh, will increase right so that's the purpose cache memory is used this cache will be used cache memory now here cache coherence one more word is added coherence means joining many cache memories because it's a multiprocessor, many processor, every processor have cache memory. So we will use multiprocessor. See, I will explain very simply and easy within less time. Right? Memory unit is single, that is nothing but shared memory, or memory unit, or main memory, nothing but RAM. Right? You can pause the video, you can rewind it, you can listen to me carefully. The shortcuts memory unit, shared memory, main memory, or RAM. This will be connected to processor 1, processor 2, processor 3, right? Uh, input output devices and input output devices, right? In processor 1, again we are having cache 1, cache memory 2, cache memory 3. This is nothing but coherence. Joining all the cache memories together, right? In At one time is called coherence. That is called cache coherence in brief. Now we are going to see detail. It may get in short marks question what is cache coherence. You need to write this. Now we will see the, with the cursor. The primary advantage of cache. See in fourth unit is telling is its ability. Right. Its capacity to reduce the average access time. So that it time it, it, the data access time will increase in uni processor. So speed will increase. The primary advantage of cache is its ability to reduce the average access time. When access time is reduced, it, the data will come fast. So uni processor means single processor. Uni processor means single processor. Whereas now we are discussing about multiprocessor from 15 it onwards. Big stations, uh, big companies, workstations, you know, YouTube companies, multiprocessors will be used in real time. Now see second point. but in shared memory right shared memory multiprocessor systems all processors share a common memory common memory they will share just now i have drawn right in addition each processor may have local memory local memory cache all of which may have be a cache separately separate processor have separate cache to ensure the ability of the system to execute memory operations see here memory operations correct correctly we need to correctly access so if you don't access correctly that is a problem that i will tell you to ensure the ability of the system to execute memory operations correctly 
the multi multiple copies in each cache multiple copies will be there just now i have drawn single if you multiple copies kept identical same it need to kept identically right then next point to overcome this multi processor identical identical copies we use cache coherence to overcome this multiple identical copies multiple different different copies we will use cache coherence scheme now we will see cache coherence problem what is the problem we will get when we having many processors many cache memories many cache memory contains separate separate data when data is not equal not identical that is the problem so we will get wrong data now we will see the cursor in multiple processor systems many processors operate in parallel so all processor will operate at a time parallel and independent separately independently multiple cache may multiple cache means multiple memories may possesses possess means hold have different copies different copies they will be having of the same memory block this creates cache coherence problem same memory block same data having different copies it will be next time when we will access same data it will give different data so that will be the problem right with a diagram i will explain you clearly here also i will draw it uh, memory unit is same so processor 1 processor 2 processor 3 as it's a multi processor again here having cache memory 1 cache memory 2 cache memory 3 so with other color i will draw we are having x data here having x here having x i right so when you are accessing same data from the memory unit x it will take from here so if you are accessing same data it will take from here whereas here that will be modified changed so it, this will occur cache coherence problem that's what share memory blocks this create a cache coherence problem and different copies this is different copy than this and this so that will be rectified the cache coherence scheme a plan helps to avoid this problem by maintaining a uniform state for the each cache block of the data so it will be also x only uniformly it will be maintained as it's x x x with the diagram i will explain you clearly neat diagram is there see here this is the draw the diagram neatly in the exam cache coherence problem is the title of the diagram processor one write fully if you want to p i wrote p you can write processor right i will show you with a red pen for your eye catching processor processor 1 processor 2 processor 3 so on processor n so cache 1 cache 2 cache e memory 3 cache memory n x is the data x i is the data here the black ship wrong data is there this is the problem same x same x so this is main memory here see here i forgot to draw this this is a common bus so common this line is common bus bidirectional right when you are accessing same data again and again from main memory RAM, here, here we are having some copy differently. This will be reduced with the cache coherence scheme. So this is called cache coherence problem. This will be rectified with cache coherence scheme that will be edit this data as same x. So x, 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 same data will be there. So no problem. Then it will be rectified. So I am working very hard. If you like all my videos, I will be encouraged myself. See if you subscribe and like my videos. So that videos will be rotate in your YouTube so that you can watch it again and again. So if you subscribe, uh, you will help uh, yourself as well as um, encourage me also. Right. So if you subscribe next uh, video, yeah, as I promised you, I will uh, shoot important uh, uh, questions according to unit wise and the answers will be provided in you in the description box of the youtube i will tell you that also next video is 15 it complete important question video as you asked so many youtubers asking um, in their comment box in my comment box my subscriber asked and my students also asking now i am keeping next video important questions right right neatly in the exam around 10 days are there for the uh, external semester exams so all the best for your exams